We've got $50, let's go make some investments and make some big money. Talking about our case market, we're definitely gonna be honing in on this inside of today's video. If we wanna look at the overall case market right now, things have not been going absolutely ballistic like we would honestly expect them to with the way rare cases are at in the current moment. When I'm looking at rare cases and I see the amount of supply decreasing so quickly for at least an estimated supply, for a lot of these cases out there, I'm definitely thinking these cases are going to be absolutely going crazy in price. And when we wanna look at them, we really haven't been seeing too much in the month. But if we wanna look at the one year as well, we're really not seeing too much movement. Some of them are have even approached a one year low as of recently. This is a perfect opportunity if we're not already invested into some of these rare cases that we could go ahead and potentially check some of them out. Now in a previous video I talked about how the fact that people are transitioning from these rare case unboxings to a lot more active duty case unboxings and for that reason inside of today's video we're actually going to be checking out the potential of a couple active duty cases as well. Now obviously these are a lot more volatile and these are going to be a lot more of a longer hole since the supply is significantly larger than anything you're going to be finding with these rare cases. I mean we could look at the snake bite for example it is still not yet moved from that original price point, but one of them is getting to the price point that it's so cheap it might actually be worthwhile us checking it out inside of today's video. SkinSwap is today's sponsor, and they're also sponsoring you with the top link in the description. They're here to cater to all of your CS2 and Rust skins need, as they're the top place for buying on some brand new skins, selling off your old skins, or trading your new CS2 skins for some new ones as well. They've got everything, and transactions are taking under 30 seconds right now. They also offer the most competitive rate out there as a massive 40% deposit bonus if you just top up today, and they're selling feature is one of the best. With an instant cash out and many different payout options, there's no reason not to try them out today. Talking about the overall capsule market, there's definitely a lot of things we need to break down. First up, talking about Paris, I think it's going to be the biggest elephant in the room, and the fact is, it's just so cheap at this point, it's very questionable as an investment if it's possible. Because let's be completely honest, when we're looking at a capsule that's this quality, when we're talking about the stickers, this in demand, but it's obviously got a massive supply, at this cheap of a price point, there definitely raises the opportunity. Unfortunately, we're not going to be tapping into that today. I still think is way too risky, but it's definitely a very interesting predicament that we've never seen before. Looking at Copenhagen, I definitely think it's going to be in a very similar situation, and the fact is there's going to be a lot of supply for a relatively small amount of demand. We can see that already, With the fact is people are not interested with Copenhagen stickers at all in terms of applications, in terms of overall interest, and therefore we're not going to be investing into these, because obviously that could lead to a lower supply, but I think it's still going to be relatively massive compared to the rest of the market. Plus, when we look at the direct competition of Paris, Antwerp, and Stockholm, there's a lot to compete with. Now looking at Antwerp and Stockholm here, there's definitely a little bit more of a question up in the air. If we want to look at Antwerp, these are now down to an extremely cheap price point just because of all the competition they have at a 25 and lower cent price point from Paris and Copenhagen. But looking at Antwerp specifically here, I'm still struggling when we look at the application numbers. They're relatively low and there still is a fair amount of supply for Antwerp out there. People forget how massive the supply is and therefore I'm not personally going to be making any strong investments here or Stockholm as well. Stockholm's a little bit of a different situation being that the hollows are the purple tier, but unfortunately Unfortunately, the way the sticker markets are going, I can't justify any investment into this area in the current moment. Now, because Copenhagen is still in the shop, you might be inclined to make one of the worst investments you could possibly make, and that's going to be into souvenir packages. Now, souvenir packages traditionally are something we bring up once in a while just because of how bad of an investment they are, but I want to break down just quickly how bad they actually are. If we want to look at Paris, we can see all of these prices significantly under the value that they're actually supposed to be holding. Usually, you're looking at about $3 of a baseline, and traditionally, you want investments that are going to appreciate in value, not deep appreciate souvenir packages have not been going up. If we want to look at Stockholm and Antwerp, a lot of these were really propped up by the fact that the Dust 2 souvenir package was going to be removed. Now it's coming back for the next major. We're going to be talking about the next major in just a quick second, but a lot of these have lost a ton of their value, especially the Dust 2 souvenir packages, and now we're looking at potentially 4 to $5 maximum for a lot of souvenir packages. The truth is they lose so much demand once their actual major ends, and the supply on them is usually significantly larger than any reasonable investment you're going to be wanting to make with the amount of demand that these are actually holding. Now talking about our next potential major, we're going to be looking over to the Chinese area. That's because obviously at the end of 2024 here, we've got our first Chinese major and therefore we got to look at the teams that are potentially going to qualify for this because this leads to a very big investing opportunity when we're talking about Copenhagen here. Now focusing in on the two biggest ones, we've got Lin Vision and we've got Koi. These are going to be the two teams that everyone has currently got their eyes on in terms of stickers, in terms of potential. Getting the most obvious out of the way right now, Koi is extremely unlikely to go ahead and qualify for the next major. That's because they are currently very deep down in the European lineup. They're at 31st place out of 100 and some teams, but this is extremely important because this means that they are extremely unlikely to go ahead and qualify because they are not even in the top 10. Usually we're looking at about 10 to 15 teams. Those are roughly the teams that are on the edge or potentially going to qualify. 31st place, not even an option in my personal opinion. Linvision, on the other hand, is extremely interesting. Right now, they're in third place. Now, Asia is a little bit different. Asia is only going to have three slots at the Chinese major, but right now they're in third place and they're there by a pretty decent margin. A 
about 200-ish points separating them from a Tox, and Lin Vision is definitely one a lot of people want to keep their eyes on. It's one of the most popular stickers coming from Copenhagen. Some believe it's here to replace the Tai Lu in terms of the demand it has. Whatever's the case, it's definitely something that I would say extremely likely to go ahead and qualify for the next major. Koi, on the other hand, it doesn't seem like it's the same way. Now, one of my favorite things to resort back to is what I call the indicator. This is going to be the sticker capsule 2. It's one of the best when we're looking at the overall hype levels inside of the game. As you can see right here, when we're looking at a longer view, we can see massive peaks happening because obviously these are more in demand times. And when we look at it overall, we usually see it coming back down to a pretty relatively speaking average price point. It's actually been at this price point for a fair amount of time right now. Therefore, I would definitely say it's a little bit interesting where we're sitting overall in the market in terms of hype, but I would still say it's a relatively accurate reading and it's very interesting nonetheless. The other thing I want to point out is if you're looking to buy Copenhagen capsules for any particular reason, remember this video right here because we're still experiencing that same error. If you're looking to buy on the Mexican peso, it's currently costing you about 21.8 cents per Copenhagen capsule that you're going to look ahead and try and buy. Therefore, I would suggest you're probably not buying these capsules directly from Steam if you're on any other currency because you can probably get it cheaper somewhere else. Now for what I'm buying, the first thing is going to be the recoil case. Now there's a couple big questions that come along with this. I'm going to answer them. First up, when we look at unboxing numbers, the recoil case is consistently coming in as the lowest number. A lot of people are hypothesizing it'd be this or the fracture. When we look at the fracture case, I definitely still think there is a potential there, but the truth is it's a little bit more expensive. It's about 50% more expensive than the recoil case. The recoil case is currently sitting at about 14 cents for what I paid for it, and therefore I don't really think it can get much lower than that. It's a much longer term hold than what we're used to for this series because it's still in the active duty pool, but I definitely think long enough there's going to be some development even though the supply is absolutely massive. Second up is going to be the Coral Surf Shop stickers. Now obviously I don't want to get too deep into hyping up some specific sticker. This was legitimately just the cheapest hollow I could find from Riptide. I think Riptide stickers overall are going to be decent investments. Now with that being said, they're a lot more developed than a lot of people really want to get into for an investment, but at the same time I definitely don't think it's a specific sticker that's going to pop off. I think it's the overall genre that's going to have a little bit more interest moving forward because the supply gets lower, demand is still relatively decent inside of this area. Third is going to be the sticker capsule 2. Now talking about the sticker capsule 2, the ROI on it is absolutely insane. We just talked about it being the indicator. Right now it's at a relatively low price point and therefore I think it brings in a couple opportunities that are going to be in a beneficial position moving forward. It's obviously my investment and I don't suggest you personally follow up on it, but it's definitely an opportunity where there is some profit to be made when the hype comes around again. And lastly, went ahead and picked up some revolver cases. You know me, I love the revolver cases. One of the quickest to go ahead and recover from any dips we see down in the market. It's your cheapest access at some of those OG knives. And the truth is the revolver case is one that is consistently proven. It's going to be keeping up with some of these older cases at a little bit of a cheaper price point. I think it's perfect. I think it's a great opportunity if you're looking for something on the safer side, which some of the investments we made were a little bit more risky. So it's good to follow it up and route out the inventory with something like the revolver case right here. But that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you today.